Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Miami for the Ocular Administration Challenge which entails killing Robert Knox with some poisoned eye drops. A nice easy one this. So for this challenge we will be bringing with us uh, our ever trusty lockpick, a lethal poison vial, a silenced pistol and we will be starting at the Dolphin Fountain. So with all of that said, Let's get reacquainted with our target, shall we? A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. It is unclear why the Knoxes would betray their masters. I will leave you to prepare. So, right from the start and off the bat, we're going to put down this riveting article on vegetables we are reading and we are going to make our way over to our right and into the overpass stairwell and we're going to make our way up the stairwell and into the Kronstad building. Uh, we need to make our way up to the top floor, uh, I believe there are three, three floors. So we're going to give the underground car park a nice wide berth to avoid the camera, lockpick our way through the chicken wire gate, and at the bottom of the stairs and underneath the stairs we will find a lead pipe. We're going to grab that lead pipe and make our way up the overpass stairwell to the very very top and into the Kronstad building. Now if you're quick you can just run straight through this room and out the window to your right and no one should spot you unless you're rather unlucky. So once out the window we can climb the drain pipe and up onto the roof here and we're going to take out our lead pipe and we're going to throw it just on the wall over there. And that should get the attention of one of the guards in the security office and he's going to come a long way round and investigate. I would have stuck my head out the window and had a look first, possibly getting myself decapitated on the way. That's why this guy is a trained professional and I am not. So when the guard comes to investigate, we can then subdue him from around the corner. We're going to leave his body right here, he won't be found. We're going to take his outfit and we're now ready to proceed into the building. First stop will be the bathroom just to our left and in here we will find some eye drops which we will poison. Are those eye drops 47. Looking over Knox's medical files, I see a prescription for medication for chronic dry eye syndrome. Apparently, he's sensitive to low humidity areas, like rooms with air conditioning turned to high, for instance. Ah, conditionings turn to high, eh? So once we've poisoned the eye drops, we're going to make our way along the corridor, avoiding the enforcer in Robert's office, and we are going to turn up the air conditioning to high. We're then going to retrace our steps back to the bathroom. You don't have to do this. You could, theoretically or quite easily, make your way to the nearest exit at this point and wait there. For the purposes of the video though, I'm going to watch Robert Knox administer poison to himself. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. So that will get you the Ocular Administration Challenge, and there happens to be a nice easy exit nearby. 
namely the helicopter on the roof. So we're just going to lockpick our way through this gate here and make good our escape. So there we go, that is the ocular administration challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.